friends. Welcome back to my channel, Margaret Knob Designs. I am here with a design team project with, for Country Craft Creations, and um, I am using the paper collection, What's Brewing? And <clears throat> this is uh, my final project for this month with uh, Country Craft Creations. I, um, I will finished up on this collection. I used for this some of the um, artisan cardstock in brown. I also used the um, craft cardstock. Um, I used some, these flowers were from 49 and Market that I did get from, um, from Country Craft Creations. I had these um, dots in my stash. I've had them for a long time. And then on the side here, I took one of the cut aparts and put uh, two of my dots there. I don't have anything on the back, but uh, this album uh, was made by um, <clears throat> with chipboard from Country Craft Creations, and it is eight and a half by nine is the size of the album. And the spine is, um, I think it's two and a half inches. Let me just make sure. Um, sorry about that. My spine is uh, two and a half inches. So um, let's get going. Let's uh, let me show you about my project and, and what I did with it. This in the front here is a booklet. I don't know if you can see that, but there is some papers in there. And this flower is up here. It does cause a little bit of difficulty that way, but I think it'll be fine. This has also uh, been popped up by um, with uh, pop dots. And I cut down the piece of um, one of the ephemera pieces. And this booklet is, I believe it's, yeah, four and a half. It's four and a half by six. And um, with this um, with this little uh, tag here, I cut it down so I could put some pattern paper behind it in the blue to kind of lift it off. And I used the brown artisan cardstock here. So this was four and a half. So you're going to need to cut a piece that is um, that is nine inches across and score at four and a half, and that'll get you your booklet. For your front cover. All right, so let's go in. On the first page of our um, album, we have a waterfall, and this waterfall is um, these are four by six. Yep, four. Let me just make sure. I believe they're all four by six. Yep. So in cutting them, this is four by six. So this would have been four and a half by six so that I could um, score a half of an inch for the hinge. And then underneath here, we also have, this is like a belly band underneath here. Right now I don't have anything in there. It's I leave that for if I want to put extra pictures in there. And then going down the waterfall, I just have half inch and then to the back, I have, um, oh, let's see. I just have that left open as well. Then also, along the sides here, I just took and measured the pieces here and measured it going down. So this is um, nine inches, so this would be eight and seven eighths and eight and seven eighths going down. And whatever you need to cover up the back is what you would want to do. And then on the back of here, this there is a magnet right in here and a magnet on here that sits right onto there. And this is one of the um, cut aparts as well. And I backed it with uh, the craft cardstock, artisan craft cardstock. And then on our first page of the album, this is really the cover page, but our first page, we did flaps and these were four by six as well. So with them being four by six, you're gonna have to do six and a half or 
let me just check one more time. I I think I might have made those. I'm sorry. These are four by five and a half, but they were six, and then it's scored at a half an inch to make the hinge. So they're four by five and a half on the front here with um, putting some pattern paper down. There is a little tuck spot right there if I wanted to put a little tag or something in there. I didn't leave this one open, but I just put magnets on here. And then we have another piece of the cut apart or ephemera. And then this one opens and this opens in here. And then there's room for pictures or photos along there. There is also photo mats on the back of here. And then those just close down on top of each other. You can also put photos on the front of here if you want to, but photos on the back, photos behind those um, flaps. Then on the next page, I, um, I left this a little bit more open so photos could be put down here. Or I was thinking also about possibly cutting apart some more of the ephemera and possibly putting the ephemera down that side. I'm not really sure. I might even use uh, some of the ephemera from the, oh, from the cover of the paper. It's a little bit smaller, may work better. But I just put two pockets on here and the pockets are five inches across. So this would have been cut at six inches so that you could have scored both sides. And I think this is three. Yep, this is three inches. So you would have cut this at three and a half inches. You know, for a pocket like this size, if, if you have something that's um, left over in some of your cardstock, you don't have to make it that exact size. Just what feels good or comfortable on the page for you. That's what I try to do when I start doing smaller pockets like that. So you're going to do, this was um, five inches, I believe, yep. Five inches, so you're gonna make that cut six inches long. Score here, score here. And this is going to be three and a half inches. And you're going to score down here for your hinges. Same size up here. We also have two photo mats that go down here. I have two smaller photo mats that go up here as, as well. Also, just to mention again, um, on my on my punch, I have um, small, medium, and large. I love this punch. And um, so this side, the, the cardstock has a large punch, but then when I do the pattern paper, I go to the medium punch, and then that fits a little bit better in that um, rounded area. So then those just go back in here. You can put ephemera along here if you want. You could put a picture along here, just like down here. Then as we go, um, we've got this page with um, pocket doors or um, open these doors. And inside here, we there are pockets. And I put tags in here just plain straight tags. What I thought is, is that could put um, smaller photos along here or even a small photo here and then some journaling down here or use the whole back for journaling. If I did journal, I might just end up uh, typing it out and putting it on the back of there. But these fit in here very nicely. There's plenty of room here to do a five by seven photo or do a layout with four by six and some smaller sizes on there as well. With this, um, I also made talk about in the tutorial about how to make those um, hinges for uh, this pocket. And I took a couple of items out of my, um, my stash been there for a long, long time. And uh, this is just a Tim Holtz. And this is, I don't know, this is probably from Amazon or something like that. But um, I might have even got this at Country Craft Creations a couple of several years back. I don't know. But that is our um, third page, our fourth page. 
is somewhat is simple but we've got the beautiful paper on there and this opens up to reveal a large pocket and we've got mats in here i think one of these is even yeah i even have a booklet in here and those all fit down into here i cut some of the uh, cardstock that's more of the muted tone i used uh, one of the um, strips along here from off of the ephemera and then on the back of here there's plenty of room for that to have photos and pictures on it and then that just closes down with um with a magnet in there then on this page i wanted to do something a little bit different these are five by seven so you would cut this at five and a half by seven because there's a hinge on there and same thing on this side so there's two five by sevens, plenty, plenty of room in here for um, all types of uh, photos or journaling that also can be done or photos on the back of here. Then I also took um, some of the cut aparts and I put this um, on the front of here with the pattern paper behind. And then this is one of the border strips from the cut apart sheet. And I put them along the top and the bottom over here just to kind of bring in more of the colors and balance that out just a little better then if we go over to the next page we have a flap on here i have some of the pattern paper behind this cut apart i cut this down i cut this cut apart down just a little bit to make it smaller to fit on here and then we have this to lift up and there's plenty of room for really nice to do like two four by six photos you know uh up and down or horizontal and then down here we have two pockets and in those pockets i've put some mats in there for photos and you can even fit more than probably two in here um in each of these pockets there seems to be quite a bit of room and i used uh some of the cut aparts um, on the pockets just to give them a little bit more dimension and then that comes and closes down right on there the next page over I left this blank and um, so we can put some photos on here or photos along there just wanted to show off that beautiful paper and then we come to the last two last three pages in the album this is left here for photos that can be put down here or journaling whatever you would like to do this is another waterfall this is one of the cut aparts and this is a piece of um uh cardstock and i believe it's two inches across two sorry two and a half inches across but again um you know I can tell you what to put down here, but really use whatever you have as a leftover scrap. If you have one that's only one inch, then use that. If you have something that's two inches, use that. Use whatever you have left over. You don't have to have it this size. There's no rhyme or reason for it. I just use what was left over. And then behind here, what I did is I backed this uh, cut apart with some of the craft card stock and then just covered this in the back as well there's a magnet here and a magnet right here this piece unfortunately i had to go to my eight by eight i was all out of my green uh pattern so i did use a uh, part of an eight by eight on this from the collection to be very honest i think it's a great idea to get a 12 by 12 and an eight by eight because there's places in a larger album that some of those 8x8 cut aparts or uh, ephemera cards are really, really good for a larger album. And then sometimes it's nice to have those other cut aparts, the bigger ones, uh, for a smaller album. So I always think that they're great to have for both of them. You can use the leftovers then for cards or doing other things. So then this is covered on the back and this closes down. And then if we go over to this page, 
we have some pattern paper there. We used one of the border strips. So there's plenty of room to put photos up there. And then we have um, this waterfall that goes along this way as well. And um, in here, I didn't put anything down here because I'm planning on a photo for in there. And then same thing, there's a magnet in here, magnet right here that comes down and closes. And this is one of the cut aparts with uh, the craft artisan cardstock behind it. And then if we turn over to our last page in the album, we have a pocket. And I have some mats that go going in the pocket. And we have two little flaps here. There's no magnets on here. I'm using my tags to hold my flaps down. And then we have a piece of the pattern paper along here. Again, I when I do pockets or when I do other, um, you know, trying to use up other cutoffs, this literally was a piece that was cut that I normally would push it down further, but this was the exact size for in here. So I put this in on here. But um, again, it's kind of the whole thing with... Um, uh, understanding that you don't always have to do exactly exactly what a designer did because you need to use your cutoffs and cut aparts and um, leftover pieces to use your pattern papers up the best way you can so these go back in here and this pocket is um, eight and three eighths by I know it's eight and three eighths but but this is by three and a half so then it would have been scored here scored here scored here so this lengthwise would have been nine and three eighths by four inches and then you would score half inch on the bottom and the two sides and then this is the back page of our album and i have left that open um not sure if i'm going to put photo mats or a photo collage on the back of there but um, I, this is my favorite paper of this whole collection. I like a lot of them, but this is my favorite. So I wanted to leave that out there and um, leaving the red with the berries and everything. So that is our album. And we are done with our 12 by 12 collection. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope I covered everything here. There will be a cut list below for the basics of the, the uh, album. Uh, there's some, there'll be some pattern paper cutting, but most of the other things with the pattern paper, um, you will just do a one eighth inch less than what the uh, solid cardstock measures to. So just um, remember to do that. I thank you so much for being here today. Um, I need to make an announcement. This is this is actually going to be one of my, this is my last design team project with Country Craft Creations. Just due to my life schedule and some other things going on, I'm going to have to step back for a little while. I'm retiring next year and maybe I can come back if Tammy will have me um, next year sometime. But at this time, I'm going to be stepping back uh, from the team. I'm going to dearly miss it because um, the group at Country Craft Creations are just the best. And um, so good to the crafters out there with all the free tutorials and the different ideas and everything. So um, please stay tuned, though. I've got plenty of things planned coming up, and I have more to share with you. So please don't go away because uh, I still will be here. I just won't be on the design team any longer. But again, I'm so appreciative of that opportunity. It was amazing. So thank you very much, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful night. And um, I will see you soon in the next video.